Hey what's going on guys, Kevin aka Pro Design HD here and today we'll be taking a look on how to create this nice and simple background in Adobe Photoshop CS6. So let's get started. First, create a canvas with a size of 1920 by 1080 with a 100 ppi. Next, what we want to do is to place two guides in the middle while having our ruler up. To do that, simply press Command or Control R. Then, choose the gradient tool, set it to radial, and select a light gray for the left color by clicking on the downside of the arrow and a darker gray for the right arrow. Press OK. Put your mouse in the middle of the two guides and drag it to a corner. After creating a new layer, we want to make a black vignette by taking the gradient tool again, setting the opacity of the top left arrow to 0% and the down left arrow to black. For the last time, put your pointer in the point of intersection of the two guides and drag it to a corner. I would recommend changing the opacity of that layer to around 30%. Next, create a rectangle from the top to a bit under the horizontal guide we placed earlier. After that, while holding Alt and Shift, move the rectangle to the right. Repeat that step one more time. Try to place the rectangles with the space between them as equal as possible. And don't forget to get the middle rectangle centered by using the guides to your advantage. What we will do next is to try to achieve a 3D look. To do that, select the three rectangular shapes, duplicate them by holding Command for Mac or Control for PC, and finally merge them by pressing Ctrl or Command E. While having the merge layer selected, right click and select Distort. Then, drag the bottom left and right little boxes while holding Shift in the way so the edges of the rectangles will touch the corners. The next step of this background is to colorize the bars adequately. To prepare for that, we have to put each bar on its own layer. Catch your polygonal lasso tool, select the bar, right click, and click layer via cut. This will put what we selected on its own layer. For organization purposes, create three folders. Name the first one left, the second one middle, and the third one right. When that's done, drag the appropriate layers into the appropriate folder. Now let's tackle the last step. Double click on the layer on the top sidebar in the folder we named left earlier to bring up the layer style window. Click and check color overlay. Click on the color box and set the color to 0, 0, 3, B, 9, 9. Click OK on everything. Then simply right click on the left folder and select copy layer style. The only part we didn't add color to yet is the middle folder. Double click on that folder again, check color overlay and set the color value to 6, 9, 9, 7, E, L. Once that's done, right click on the folder we just applied the layer style and click on copy layer style. Then right click on the two remaining folders and select paste layer style. Finally, take your logo or text and place it in. To make it look better, I'm going to give my logo a slight rotation. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any question or inquiry, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Also, if you would like me to see your final result and give you feedback, contact me on Facebook. 